That's the kind of life she's living, Minnie the dog. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Uh, we're your hosts, Minnie the dog and Michelle J. Stenson of Chartreuse Flower Works. I know my sign is backwards. It's just a lot easier for me to um, film like this in case a customer comes in. Harry, your photos were just popping up on film, just a little bit out of the corner there. Uh, I have like a lot of things to show you today. Um, I'm like surrounded by treasures and puppy dogs. Okay, Minnie, I'm going to put you down over here. Okay, don't knock over anything with your blind old ladiness. All right. So this is my hot chocolate. I'll just drink some for you. So delicious. Carnation um, hot chocolate. That's what I hand out on Halloween. I just buy the individual packages. I hand those out because then the trick-or-treaters can have hot chocolate when they get home. It's like the most magical thing. They Kids really go crazy for it. So, uh, as I said, I have a lot of things to show you. So it might be a longer video, uh, but I can do dog interludes in the middle if you'd like. The one thing I keep forgetting to ask you is to please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as uh, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I make new weird videos. And also if you give my video a thumbs up, then it will spread more and then I'll get more people. The other thing that I always forget is anything that I show you that's not fresh flowers or plants, I can ship anywhere in Canada. So if you want to buy paint, if you want to buy transfers, uh, any kind of weird giftware, um, autographed uh, cards that are the Harry Mini Greetings, they can autograph those for you. So literally anything, I can just ship it to you. So if you want something, if you don't live in Kingston, Ontario, I will send it to you, no problem. And I do have a new shipping method. It's kind of like a shipping broker website where I put in all the information and then I get the absolute best price. I don't charge any kind of handling fee. I just charge you exactly what uh, I pay. Also, if you're buying paint or any of the other things online, there isn't an actual shipping order, uh, shipping amount, because I don't know what you're buying. I don't know what the combination of items is, and shipping is based on the weight and also the size of the box. So when you buy any kind of giftware, there's a section at the end that is basically delivery uh, for DIY products or any giftware. And then what happens is you place your order and then I will call you after with the shipping cost. And again, I make it as low, low, low as possible. And the new place I have been using has been 10 to $15 less than Canada Post. Like significant. So I'm very happy with that. So that's kind of the best way that I can do it. So just keep in mind that I can send you anything that you are seeing uh, today, except for fresh flowers and plants, because I don't want you to get dead things when they arrive. So, so today I've got paint to show you. I got all my brand new paint pixie brushes, except it was a box this big and it cost me $700. Actually, no, it was the dogs that bought that. I keep forgetting their contributions. So it was it was a significant. So I do have all the brushes that I can show you. Um, I also wanted to show off this beauty. Look at how beautiful that is. This is called Lysianthus. It comes in shades of uh, white, cream, pale, like a butter color, uh, different shades of pink. It comes white with the pink or the purple edges. Uh, there's a beautiful peach one and there's some crazy Japanese varieties that are huge that you can't even see the center because there's so many ruffles. Um, Japan has some crazy flowers coming out of there. Flower science is like insane now. Um, in the olden days, you could only get peonies in June and I can pretty much get them year round now. I mean, you're going to pay. If you want them, you're going to have to pay a lot, but I can get pretty much anything. The only thing that's really hard to get is Lily of the Valley. That's just not ever been something that's wildly available. But in the UK, it's in every bridal bouquet, so I don't know where they're getting it. But it's not something that I have uh, everyday access to. So yeah, Lysianthus, beauty. Also want to remind you my Pink Floyds are still on sale for $4 a stem. And then I have this, it's so big. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that, you can't even see me. 
all those brand new leaves. So this is a monstera plant and I have a couple of these. Look at how beautiful that is. So the older the plant gets, the more uh, holes it has growing in the leaves as well. So I do have, I have three of these available and it's just so beautiful. So there's that. Okay. Now, I wanted to show you some quick little pots that I made with some leftover um, scrap, let's say scrap, but little pieces of old transfers. So I just had all these white pots and I just popped a bird on it. Just put a bird on it. Just like that show Portlandia, just put a bird on it. How beautiful is that? And then there's this other one. This, I guess this isn't really a scrap because it's a pretty significant piece, but this was definitely scraps here. So I just scratched these on. They're all just rub-on transfers. And then here's all my brushes. So the brushes are called Paint Pixie and they're actually made in uh, Italy. Um, I used to work with this old florist named Robert and he would never say someone was Italian. He would always say they're Italian, Robert. Oh, I love that guy. He would always, he had all these crazy sayings too, like don't let anyone give you a wooden nickel and he had the craziest sayings and he was an old school florist, like his mother owned a flower shop. And uh, so he was an old school florist and uh, he's also a, hair, a hairdresser. Um, and he works at a beauty supply place in Ottawa. I called him last year, actually. I think invited him to my birthday party. I'd love to see that. Robert Chason, I'd love to see you, man. I would love to see you. Back on track. So, yes. the And if you're saying that people are Italian, then do you say that it's the country of Italy? I don't know. Today it's Italy. So, these are made in Italy. Italy. And uh, this is the wax brush. Okay. So, it's got a short really hard bristles um, and the handle is really beautiful the quality is amazing so beautiful so basically what you would do is you would just pick up your wax and then go around the whole uh, piece with uh, the brush and spread the wax everywhere and then you leave it overnight and then you buff it so I also have a buffing brush so this is called Buffy and uh, you can just buff everything on your piece with this, which makes it a lot more uh, user friendly and such much more of a pleasure to use than like t-shirt fabric, for example. So there's that's Buffy. This is the Dusty. So you can do so much with this too. You can just paint things. You can use this for uh, going over your transfers with um, a top coat. Uh, you can you can you can use these brushes for anything really. Then we have, these are like the traditional um, traditional chalk painting brushes. Look how beautiful that is. And they all have their own num uh, name. So this one is called Purpose, and this one is called Believe, and there's also one that's called Dream. Um, I didn't get the entire collection because Minnie and Harry only had so much money for me to spend. Um, I could have asked the goldfish for money. Next time, next time. So um, I need to buy candle making material, so maybe I'll get the fish to pay for that. Yeah, so yeah, so those are two beautiful brushes. And then this one is called the flat top one cent because the end is the size of a penny. And this is really, both of these are really great for getting in corners and hard to reach places. Um, but the, the brushes, look at the copper band, so beautiful. They're just so universal, you can really use them for anything. Um, and the thing too is that they hold paint really well and um, they kind of minimize brush strokes and also um, because they hold the paint really well, uh, your paint will go farther as well. So yeah, so those are the brushes that I have available. They are on my website, but I have to add the prices and the inventory. And I also have to add all the Prima redesign with Prima. Oh, also, uh, I'm looking for a new assistant. I need a new assistant. So this isn't just an employee. This is really an assistant to help me with my entire life because yes, it's my store, but I also pretty much live here. Like my creatures are here. I live here and um, the varied, you know, activities that I need help with um, is a lot. So I'm looking for somebody who's older. 
Um, I always have students and uh, it does take a lot of my um, my energy and time to work with my students, which I absolutely love. But in an assistant of a paid position, I don't have the time to teach people kind of basic flower shop things. So I really need somebody who's older, maybe five, even 10 years experience in a, working in a shop. If it was a florist, I need a florist. That's what I need. Um, I also would want to go on a vacation sometime. And then I would have to like leave my shop to somebody and it's literally like leaving an infant, your infant with somebody. So it's a really important job. Um, I give you money. I will pay you the money as well. Um, and uh, it is it is a really fun, chaotic place to work. And uh, I'm definitely like a very generous, giving, um, you know, employer that would really appreciate somebody's hard work. Um, so I am looking for an assistant florist, someone, someone really special. Um, cause I just, I just need help. I just need help. So, all right. So back on track. So then I pulled my two metallic paints. Okay. Uh, so I've got this one. This is new this year. This is pennies from heaven and it's copper. So that's really beautiful. And then this one is the golden ticket, which you can see on my sign here. So it looks like that. So it is fairly translucent. So to get an opaqueness to it, you have to kind of build up the layers. Um, then because I had the bird pot, I was feeling kind of birdy. So I busted out um, this transfer here. Well, this one is butterflies, but look at how beautiful that is. So this is uh, three pieces, three two foot pieces. So this is 24 by 35. And you can put the whole transfer on something, that's the back there, or you can cut it out and use individual pieces. And then here's the bird one. This is called Postal Birds. Look at how beautiful that is. And then there's the example there. So beautiful. So again, what you do is you open this up there's a grid pattern on it. So you peel off the backing, you put it on your piece, and then you use a transfer transfer tool to scrape it quite a bit, and then the transfer comes off onto your piece. So then because I had the bird situation, I also have the mold called aviary. So that's what that looks like. How beautiful is that? And again, you're gonna have to put the clay, I didn't grab the clay, you're gonna need clay to put into this mold. And then when you pull the clay out, you're gonna get a piece like this. And then it dries hard like that. So look how beautiful that is. Um, and then the next one, I just wanted to get a botanical. So this one is called Forest Flora. So that's really, really beautiful. So, and again, I just wanna remind you that it's important to subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, cause that would really help me. Um, then I was thinking about birds and then I was like, what kind of paint am I going to do? So I got two shades of blue here. Um, so this is, let's see, I've got blue iris and I've got water lily. So, so those are the ones that I have. Minnie doesn't have much space. So that's blue iris and water lily. And this is an eight ounce, this is an eight ounce jar there. That's what that looks like. So, yeah, so th these are two of the new colors. They came out at the same time as, um, as the copper. There is a furniture artist named Dion Woods. Yeah, her uh, business name is the Turquoise Iris. And the stuff that she does is like, amazing she's so talented everything she touches creatively turns to gold um, and she actually created this color of the blue iris um, so I'm really fortunate that the DIY paint has such a kind of cult following because I don't have that much time to paint because I got the whole flower gig going on um, so it's really great for me to be able to direct my customers to some of these other amazing artists because I just don't have as many times available for this. So, um, yeah, the other thing is I'm thinking I'm going to start 
doing a mail out newsletter. So not like a junk email that you just delete or not read, but an actual physical uh, snail mail newsletter. So if you are interested, come in, Lynn Ogman. There she is. There she is. Hi, Minnie. So if you're interested in getting into that uh, newsletter, um, you just have to send me your uh, name and address, and it's gonna be like a once a, once a month kind of thing, and you'll get updates about the shop and maybe some, some fun coupons and that kind of thing. Um, it might be a bit costly, but I think it's, uh, I think it would be really fun and a, a sort of old school way to reach out to my customers. So. so I guess we'll stop it at that. And the dogs don't have any food down here. I gotta go upstairs and refill the food because they're gonna starve to death because they've been neglected and abused and starved and, and everything, you know? I'm considering buying another set of heated beds because there's one in the bedroom for each of them, but there's none in the living room. So they have two heated beds in the store, two heated beds in the bedroom, which sometimes I put on top of the bed, you know? But there's no heated beds in the living room. And it's not right, you know? This one needs heated beds everywhere. So that's what I'm thinking. Hey, Minnie. Oh, your breath is delightful. That old dogs and their charms. All right, everybody. Um, yeah, Pink Floyd's. Uh, on sale four dollars open till six tonight Fridays I'm open till seven and Saturday I'm here 10 30 to 5 hey let's bring back the Saturday shopping remember when it was Saturday and you would go shopping why are we not doing that I hope to see everybody on Saturday and um, if you want any of the things that I showed you I can pop them in the mail except for this one not available and um, yeah I hope everyone has a great day I'll check back in bye